yeah, I was bored, so I decided let's uh, let's do some Mega Man Six, cause why not? I think we need to turn the sound up a little. Five should be good. But yeah, why not? Some secret Mega Man Six streaming. Cause what else do we have to do, really? The first annual robot tournament was held. It was held. Where? I guess we'll find out. But it was definitely held. Fate of the world's most powerful robots. But... But what? Tell me. What is it? Mr. X, sponsor of the tournament, took control of the robots that began to take over the world. Mega Man, Mr. X, why? Mr. X, it's time to tell you the truth. I've been manipulating that fool, Dr. Wiley, from the beginning. I like how it's just a wall of text I throw at you. But now I no longer need Dr. Wiley's help. Come and face me, Mega Man. I couldn't even finish that in time. We'll stop you. Follow me, Rush. I couldn't finish that in time. That was a fucking... It was literally... They threw a wall of text at you. It was like, oh, fucking here, read this shit, asshole. Oh my god. Uh, okay, it's a little too loud for me now. The game... Put it on the free. Flame Man. Alright. So yeah, Mega Man 6 is a video game. Uh what can I say about it? It's not much to say really. Is this is the actual thing good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now let's play for real. Let's play for realsies. Uh Mega Man 6 is actually my favorite outside of the Regular trilogy, like of the second trilogy, I would say this one's my favorite. I used to play this one a lot when I was younger, because I really enjoyed the concept of the idea of like Mega Man basically going having to go around the world to fight all these robot masters and shit. Yo, what's up, Dawson? You're working on stage one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go, dude. Dude, I'm just fucking. Just vibing, just playing some Mega Man. Although, I need to fix this just enough. Alright, that should be fine. Let me know how the uh, volume is, Dawson. If it's not good or whatever. If it's too low, too loud. <laughs> oh, dude. That sounds. That's exactly what I like to hear. Volume's great. Awesome. The best time to get some inspirations, you know? Uh, I like to take, uh, what's his name? Fucking, whatever this asshole's name is. Flame Man? I, think it's, I forget. Flame Man? I don't know. But I like to take him first. As I was, uh, when I streamed this game with Dawson a while back, I proved that doing him at first is good because the monkey mini boss in Plant Man stage fucking sucks. So... Just get this out of the way. Plus, he's not that hard of a boss overall, anyway. Oh, I don't know how we got that. Did I? Who did I say? I meant Kieran. I meant Kieran. I don't know who I said. In my mind, I said Kieran. I'll have you know that. Did I say your name? Now I feel like I said Dawson. <laughs> I literally, I fucking, I'm just speaking words, dude. Ah. Oh. Okay, I didn't jump. My controller's been doing this weird thing recently. Where, uh, it's had, like, ghost inputs. I don't know when or why it started happening, but it's a little annoying. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wow, that flame is already... Sp the flames are already spawned? That's weird. Okay. Anyways. It's gonna be spicy. Oh, that's what I like to hear, bro. I guess because I died, it's just automatically spawned now. Alright, well. I think that's game over. That's fine. We'll start from the beginning. Start from the top. Stage select. Uh, Flame Man. Okay. Yeah. Not not too hard of a stage. Uh, at that point, I just kind of lost all... <laughs> I lost all effort for that run, you know? Okay. Let's try this again. But, yeah, Mega Man 6 controls exactly how you'd expect it to. It controls, like, the last three fucking games. Uh, Mega Man still has that problem where if he gets hit in the middle of a charge shot, though, he loses it. Which is, which, you know, it is annoying. But, uh, I mean, it's still manageable. Oh, what's up, Mecha? 
And we're doing Mega Man 6, because why not? Boss can only have a primary and secondary weakness and an immunity. As in one each. Oh, damn, dude. That actually sucks, yeah. It's really weird. So it's not like Wily Wars where you could just kind of wing it. Ooh, how did none of them touch me? I mean, we'll take that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're basically speed running the Mega Man series at this point. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this series so much of recently, so... We're getting right back to it. We're gonna do Mega Man 7 sometime during the week. Oh my god. Not good. Let's make that jump. Oh, nice dodge. We already picked up that E-Tank earlier, so let's not... Let's not be greedy, you know? Da -da -da -da. There. No ghost inputs, please. I'll take that. Okay. Let's fight Flame Man. Not a very hard boss. Pattern's simple enough. Plus, this game gives you a lot of E-Tanks as it is. Yeah, Flame Man likes to do this. He likes to jump. He also likes to shoot these. And that's pretty much all he does. Oh, he's doing giving us a two pattern. Interesting. Oh, he's jumping a lot. Oh, he's giving us a, he's giving us another one? Interesting. He's really trying to mix us up. And he's dead. Wow. <laughs> he barely spammed his best fucking available ability. I'm a little impressed. Alright, with Flame Man out of the way, we can go to Plant Man. And make that stage a hundred times easier. Because Plant Man's not even the threat of that stage. It's the fucking mini-boss that you gotta, gotta fight two times. Brush Power Adapter. Uh, Power Adapter we don't end up using too much, but it'll, it'll have its niche uses, you know? There's a few, like, hidden things here and there you can get. Uh, Plant Man. I also love one thing that this game does that no other games do, is it's really extra, and it like, likes to show you the stats of each Robot Master. Like, how much damage they can do, how much mobility they have. I don't know how much that actually is relevant, like, I, I think it's just, like, flavor text, really. I don't know how relevant that genuinely is, but... Because Mega Man bosses, like, don't typically work in those kind of prototypical ways. So, I, I'm very curious, though. How much of that is actually flavor text and which how much of it's actually, like, accurate. Okay. I'll take my one hit from this guy and leave. Those, those enemies are very annoying to deal with, so... I typically just take the hit and go. And jump! Hello, Edward. What are you giving me? Life. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Okay, first boss. Or first mini boss. This fucking monkey. He sucks. So you just want to hit him six times with this. Four, five, six. Bam. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. That monkey boss is a lot harder <laughs> without that. I, I promise you. It's very annoying. I don't like the whole, because you have to, like, push him back, like, as you move, and I'm not a fan of that, personally. Ooh, we just fucking, we're just speeding through this section right now. Alright, one more monkey boss. Monkey. Alright, um, let me show you how Godzilla vs. Kong ends. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I keep getting ghost inputs on my controller. See that? It just happened three times in a row. That's so weird. I wonder why it's been happening so often. But, alright, here's the fish. Kieran loved these fish. They just pop up out of fucking the water like that. <laughs> I fell for it too. Uh, yeah, Kieran doesn't like those fishies very much. 
that health won't restore, right, by the way, so... Just so you know, you're not getting that back. Alright. Let's not... Get some ghost inputs. That'd be awesome. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. Done. Go, go, go. Come on, let me go forward. But yeah, I'm, I'm very close to affiliate. I'm uh, seven followers and 0.3 viewers away. Yeah, let's not fall for that again, please. We're so close. Affiliation. I was just talking with Lotus about that. Oh. Here's my point three of myself. Hi, Lotus. See, I knew you were a man of your word. Oh, come on, get that. There's supposed to be an enemy here. He didn't spawn. That's convenient. And bounce. One more. Bounce. And we just gotta get this guy. Easy. Alright, Plant Man. Plant Man's another interesting boss. Uh, he just kind of walks around, he bounces off of walls, and he throws his plant barrier at you. He never actually runs straight into you. So as long as you keep your distance to a fair amount like this, he'll always bounce on a wall. Whether that be the wall in front of you or the wall behind you. So once you shoot him, just walk back. And then slide. Do it again. Oh, he got me that time. And that. And yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Get him again. Try to predict his, what he's going to do sometimes ahead of time, you know? No, I couldn't get him. Yep, yeah, there we go. The first boss he made. Oh, he made them harder. Alright, I like that. I, I like a challenge. As long as it's not Mega Man and Bases type of challenge. <laughs> which is just absolute bullshit. Yo, what's up, Shane? Oh, my hero. Oh, I've got so many followers. All my heroes are here. Got Lotus, Dawson, Shane. What's up, Shane? Uh, now we will go to... Who the fuck are we going to? Nightman, that's it. What do you mean, hero? I'm a villain. <laughs> okay, you could be my villain. How about that? Okay, now we have the most broken thing in this game. Uh, the jet adapter. Jet adapter works differently than how rush jets worked in previous games. Because jet adapter doesn't actually run refills ammo the minute you hit the ground. And you basically can fly in air for a short while like this. You can skip a lot of sections. It's really funny. But, uh... One thing is, is it can't slide, and you can't use your charge shot, so... Typically it doesn't matter, but this is a section you need slide. And boop! And boop! And boop! Wow, this looks like a section where you could require effort. Or you just use this. Later! There's a reason why they never brought this back in this form. Like, they brought back the Rush Jet Adapter, but they always made it that it's only a double jump from that point on. It's not like this continuous flying thing. I'm the only person streaming this game? Oh my god. Finally. Finally, I'll have fucking acknowledgement by the entire Mega Man community. All at once. Go down. Get this. Bam. Alright, Edward. What are you giving me, Edward? Eh, I'll take an extra life. I do want E-Tanks eventually, though, Edward. You're kind of holding back on me. Which I don't appreciate very much. There's an E-Tank. 
When Edward can't come through, you can just use the fucking rush adapter. <laughs> Alright, come down. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this like 90% of the game, by the way, because it, it's too good to not use. And as long as you've played like classic Mega Man where you don't have a charge shot or a slide, such as Shane, shout out to Shane, the the Mega Man 1 King, uh, then you don't, you, you'll be fine. You don't need it. Uh, power. Eh. Go down here. This way is the extra path. Come on. Uh, one thing I found out from Kieran's playthrough, because Kieran liked using the power adapter a lot. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the power adapter. I think it's kind of very odd overall, but Kieran found a major use for it. He used it for a good portion of the game because he'd rather punch things than shoot things. And I found out you could punch those enemies and destroy them, which are usually just indestructible. All right, Nightman. Here's the most difficult boss in the game. He throws his ball at you. You jump over like that. This is all he does. This is his whole pattern. He also jumps. You can shoot him during that too. The further you're back, the further he throws the ball, by the way. Damn, Nightman. Come on. Come on, Nightman. I'll just go in. I'm no pussy. Wow, he's... He really does not want to cooperate. He's doing, like, the wrong... The weirdest pattern I've ever seen him do. Come on. Alright. That's the weirdest pattern. Usually he just spams the ball and chain thing over and over again. That time he tried to, like, be the most competent version of himself. It almost felt like there was another person controlling that robot master. Knowing what Nightman was really shitty at, you know? Uh, you also can get the beat parts in this game, much like Mega Man 5. I don't end up using that ever, but you know. He's trying to be the most competent version of himself, <laughs> aren't we all? Yeah, you're right. You're right, Shane. We truly are. <laughs> he really is. Alright, uh... Jet. Boy, I love fucking the jet adapter. What a beautiful fucking thing. Imagine just flying through an entire stage. Oh, that actually got me up in the air? That's kind of fucked. Alright. Oh, you fucker. Come. There we go. Words to live by. Yeah, you're right. Whew, I don't know how we didn't touch those spikes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to normal here. Because we're going to need to make a slide. Best way to heal, deal with that is slide. So. Yeah, that, that was a lot. That was a lot better than it could have been. It could have got really bad. Also, Lotus. Here you go. Mega Man can shoot through walls. Since we were talking about that earlier, he can indeed shoot through walls. Which is, it's kind of just his weird staple. He just has, I don't know why he has that ability, he just can. Wow, that looks like an enemy. Wow, it looks like an enemy also. Okay, I'll take the hit. That is a worthy hit. So I can just unga bunga the rest of this fucking stage. Okay, we need to... Only way to kill these guys is with a full charge shot, so... There we go. Get that health. Pretty sure this is the spot I'm thinking of. Yeah, Edward. Come here, Edward. Man, you're giving me so many lives, Edward. I want an E-Tank. Now I'm gonna start to get frugal with you, Edward. Give me an E-Tank. That's not an E-Tank. This could take forever, by the way, but if you keep leaving this room, eventually he'll give you what you want. It's not an E-Tank. Why don't you understand what I want, Edward? It's not an E-Tank. God 
Edward? Edward, I command you. God, what the fuck? Give me an E-Tank, bro. Come on. Come on. That's not an E-Tank. Oh my god, this is, this is fucking taking a hot minute. Come on, Edward. E-Tank. You see this shit? Do you see him defying me? Edward. You motherfucker. He's giving me anything but an E-Tank. He's literally giving me everything he can possibly give me but the E-Tank. You son of a bitch. Oh, he's being a real piece of shit. But now I'm, I'm now I'm now I'm fucking Oh, there it is. Thank you. I'm too stubborn to leave. Gotcha in a nutshell. That's <laughs> true. The Edward gotcha. All right. That piece of shit, Edward. Finally gave us the E tank after so long. I usually get that like very quickly too. Usually my gotcha luck's very good there. I had a ghost input, but I was able to fly. Nice. Oh, here's a boss. Here's a mini boss. Bye. Don't you like that mini boss? Here's a shortcut to the bo actual boss, by the way. If you have the rush adapter, you can just go there immediately. So, cool. Let's go fucking fight Sensoir, man. Alright, Centaur Man. Uh, as the name says, he's a Centaur. And you have to beat him with the Night Crush. Oh yeah, he teleports. He likes to also, like, stop time. Because he's kind of an asshole. Oh, dick. Okay. It's fine. We can still make this work. Oh, we're getting hit. Is this a... Yeah, this is a bad run. Oh, but we made a bad run still work, baby. Oh, we got a bad cycle and we still did it. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Four robot masters down, four to go. Alright, and with that, this run starts to get interesting. And now we got options. We got a lot of uh, weaknesses and a lot of places we could go. But let's go to Windman. But yeah, each of these places is based in some form of the uh, like of Earth. So like, this stage takes place in China. The last one took place in Greece. It's very interesting. That's what another reason I love Mega Man Six. It's literally just Mega Man around the world, basically. Uh, chat. See you around. Trained his whole life just for that moment. And all he got was that. I, I'm the kind I'm the weird kind of player because I like if you ever notice me when I play, I take a lot of hits. But I never take too many. Like I take just enough to still succeed, if that makes any sense. Very reckless player. But my recklessness usually pays off because I know patterns and whatnot. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, we could just damage boost this entire fucking section. We're barely taking any damage. Alright, they want you to platform here. You know what that means. Just do that instead. Alright, we got we got a slide to get this. Give me jet back. Boom. Easy. Alright, give me this extra life. I told you, Jet just makes things so much easier. Uh, we could fight this panda, or we could just do that. We could fight any of these pandas, technically, but... Zardy? Oh, dude. Man, Zardy looks so fucking hard. <laughs> I'm gonna rip my nuts off. Dude, I would fucking, like, literally, I would die. I would not be able to do it. That shit looks so difficult. Eventually, I want to stream Friday Night Funkin'. And I'm gonna get fucking crushed when I do it. I'm gonna get absolutely obliterated. I'm looking forward to the day. But I'm also ruining it. Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, the mods. 
the mods were what make the game really hard, you know? The mods are really hard. Like, I, I definitely am going to include the mods when I play it, you know? That's my thing. I kind of see the mods as, like, part of the experience now. The mods make it fucking insane. Start with B-side? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Windman. What does he do? Well, he tries to throw this shit at you. You can just kind of do this. Centaur Flash is like a... It just, you know, bombs the whole screen, so... You just spam it. Wait for invincibility frames, and eventually he dies before you. Hopefully. Easy peasy. Yeah, B-side looks cool. I love the concept of B-side. Changes the all the colors and everything. Like, that shit's really cool. I don't know. I really like that. Alright, Windstorm. We won't really get any use out of this until the castles. Uh, from there, we'll go to Blizzard Man. Now, this guy takes place in Canada, of all places. So, uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Here's the Canadian Robot Master. You wanted him, and here he is. Blizzard Man. He's the most stereotypical fucking thing ever. It's, it's really bad. But you know what? He's something. Literally me. Oh. <laughs> fucking Kieran kept calling him by the name of the, the Prime Minister of Canada. Or the Ambassador or whatever. And I, I was fucking laughing my ass off. He's like, oh dude, that's what's his name. I'm like, what? It was so fucking funny. Justin. Yeah, I was like, I was like, Kieran, please. It was really funny. Also, yeah, if you notice, there's like curling enemies in this stage and shit, too. Justin Trudeau, yeah. <laughs> That's what he was calling him, yup. That's it. That's the name. Oh, we're getting our fucking shit kicked in. There's uh, another enemy here. We'll take the hit. It's fine. We can actually take these hits. Uh, checkpoint comes up right about around here. After Kraken, man. Easy. Alright. Uh, there's Joe Mama. Of course, Joe Mama has to make a reappearance. He always does. Fuck you, Joe Mama. Alright, we got a dip. Don't die to the Joe Mama fucking thing. Alright. Yeah, I like that. You can see the checkpoints. That's pretty cool. Alright. <laughs> I know nothing about the guy outside of what Kieran told me, but man, sounds like a sounds like a trip. Yeah, that that sounds like it's such a fucking name. It's such a plain name. I love it. Oh wow. Boy, I wonder how to get through this section. Alright, uh, another mini boss. Kraken guy. See you around, Kraken guy. Joe? You mean like Joe Mama? Joe Mama or Joe, the guy that got me my PC? <laughs> uh, what is it? Oh, Fire Blast we need to use. Alright, here's Justin Trudeau, man. Uh, he's, he kind of just does this. Actually, we're going to die. Let's just take the death while we have the ammo for this thing. Justin Trudeau, man, uh, he likes to roll in a ball, like Sonic the Hedgehog, and, uh, he also likes to shoot, like, his little snowflakes at you. That's, that's basically all he does. So just so you guys know, Justin Trudeau, if he ever actually has to go to war, if Canada goes to war, he's gonna teach all of you how to do the spin dash. Alright? You're all gonna learn how to do that. 
that technique. Ow, stop it! Alright, he's dead. Canada's, Canada now has no ruler. Mega Man killed him. Wow, Canada Man sucks! <laughs> the forbidden technique. Alright, we got blizzard attack. You shoot little blizzard things. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Okay, next stage. Uh, now we're going to America. Here's Tomahawk Man. The minute we get in the stage, you're gonna see it's like literally a fucking western. Yeah. This is, this is America. This is how Japan sees America. And... I think this one's the one that holds the E-Tank. So, use power... Yeehaw! Punch this guy a bit, why not? Punch him in the nads. I kinda wish he was- I kinda wish instead of Tomahawk Man, he was Cowboy Man, but, you know... I guess one can dream. Cowboy Man would've been pretty fucking sick. And then, here's a mini-boss, it's a Metal thing. Just kinda spam your little lemons and eventually it'll die. Not hard. Alright, there's these guys showing up. God. Playing Mega Man 6 is basically like playing regular Mega Man. Alright, Edward. Come on, Edward. Give me something good. That sucks. There's nothing I can do with that, Edward. Give me something else. Come on. I guess I'll take the life. Fuck you, Edward. Fucking ruining it for me, bro. How many E-Tanks do I have? Oh, we already have seven. <laughs> oh, probably not even gonna use seven. Wow, well, that platform spawned in at a very awkward time. It was like very last second. That's weird as fuck. Alright, cool. There's this guy. He just kind of tries to do his best. Alright. You know what to do. Just spam this shit. This meth tool's kicking my ass. There we go. Just be built different. I guess I can't argue with that logic. Sometimes you just have to be built different. There we go. Again, this is like one of those alternate path things. This way, however, will get us the other beat part. Not that we really need it, but you know. Alright, so you're probably wondering, what is America weak to? What is, like, Wild West America weak to? Well, clearly it's weak to the plant barrier. Because what was America's most hated thing in the 60s? Hippies. And we all know that the flower represented peace. Which the hippies were known for. Therefore, the hippies beat America. So now we just gotta beat the shit out of them with our hippie power. And there we go. We beat America. The hippies have done it. See, there, this, this entire game is an allegory to the actual government and the actual history of the world, you know? It's very, very in-depth. And of course, oh, you also get the best weapon in the game by beating this. You get the silver tomahawk, which is fucking sick. That one-fourth of stage one. Oh, dude. I'm hyped. Alright, one more. Yamato, man. Which, uh, takes place in Japan. Yamato in Japanese actually means, like, the essence of Japan. So, I guess, basically, this guy could literally just be called Japan Man. And that's, that's pretty much all he is. 
Also, these Tanukis shoot giant balls. Get it? Because Tanukis are known to have big balls. Fucking genius, guys. Somebody, some genius at Capcom wrote that. Alright, these, yeah, these are fucking little annoying ass bug guys. Uh, come on, little annoying ass bug guy. Oh, we don't need that. Oh, that's a robot. See you around, robot. You can't even shoot you from behind. That's the same one from Mega Man 5, but they nerfed them. Poor guy. Alright, let's go. Alright. Bring me back the jet power. And away we go. And... You know what? All you could do, actually, is just... Okay, it takes three to kill him. I was kind of curious how many it would take. Easy. Alright, next section. It's this shit. You pretty much should never actually have to fight with these enemies. And boom, you're already at fucking Yamato, man. Now, what fight beats Japan? According to Mega Man 6, America. Again, this game is just a fucking history... It's a historic allegory, okay? Americans are beat by the hippies. Japan is beat by America. Oh, I should just die, actually. Alright, cool. They knew what they were doing with this game. I want a Mega Man... I want Mega Man 12 to be represented on, like, different countries and shit again. I love the Silver Tomahawk. It's so good. It's got this very unique angle, but it will help so much in the castle. And one more. Done. We have defeated Japan. We have defeated the Prime Minister of Japan, Sakura Miko. Speaking of, Lotus, uh, Maureen and Miko are going to stream in like 13 minutes if you're curious to see what the hell they're talking about. I mean, it's fairly obvious what they're going to be talking about at this point, but you know, in case you have curiosity. I know I do, but I'm fucking streaming, so. Yeah, that's fair. I I'm sure there will be people in like, there'll be translators and shit anyway. Alright, first of the Mr. X stages. You know, the villain of this game. And clearly not Dr. Wily. Mr. X is an interesting guy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, if you if you can make a, if you can make out anything, let me know. I'm curious. Oh, I flew right into that like a dipshit. Okay, let's do it again. Ow. Less than 40 minutes and we're already at the first fucking castle. <laughs> God damn. Uh, da, 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 uh, actually, I could just stand about here. This should be fine. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, close. Very close to actually hitting that. Okay, we're gonna try this. Let's see if we can get this. If you can make this jump, you have to break that thing, but once you touch these things, they flip. 
The only problem is you can also high jump because there's those spikes, so. Oh, yep, like that. You can't high jump. But I really want to pull it. I really want to perform it. So, give it another attempt. <laughs> Those things do suck, yeah. They're kind of a they're kind of annoying without the right tools. When in that situation they suck because you have to use that and short jump and punch that wall. Uh, uh. Let's try it again. Easy! Alright. That was a lot less attempts than I expected. Alright, your reward for doing this, by the way, you get four extra lives at the end of this section. And you pretty much immediately get to the boss. So if you pull that off, you, you basically get a massive shortcut. Now, I'm pretty sure this boss is... What I'm thinking of, yeah, just use Mega Buster. It's these weird little, like, wall droid things. They just kind of spin around like that. You shoot them. You try not to get hit. And that's all they do. That's this entire boss fight. Just avoid them. And shoot them when they pass by. Sometimes you can get them on the walls. Like that. We're taking the hits, but we should be able to just out outdo them. That's one. That's two. Done. <laughs> Alright, next one. Here we go. You know what we're already using. The jet. Here's some met tools doing their thing as per usual. There's some there's some weapon and energy if you need it, but if you use the Mega Buster strat, then you won't really don't need any weapon energy within this first stage, so. And here this section's kind of annoying. If you don't use this, that is, but you know. It's more so an upcoming part that I find to be really annoying. If it, if I'm, this is the right stage I'm thinking of. Alright, there's a guy who's supposed to spawn. Yep. Let him, let him do his thing. Come on. And there's another one that's gonna appear. Right? No, I'm crazy. I thought there was more than one that appeared. Maybe I maybe I finally am just going insane. Yeah, these guys you could just, just fuck these guys. Just just literally ignore them. What are they gonna do about it? Literally fucking nothing. They can't catch you. Pretty sure this is the met tool. So blizzard. Yeah, we have to fight a tank met tool. Another interesting boss. Yep, tank met tool. No, no, this is the one with the silver tomahawk. Look at me. I'm a fool. I'm a sham. You just shoot it at the wall. This thing climbs up the wall. With the silver tomahawk, though, you should have good enough angles that... Here, yeah, we can use an E-tank. E-tanks, by the way? There's, there's so many you get that 
Don't feel afraid to use them in any, either of these castles. I guarantee you, the very next stage, like, you go to, regardless of what, like, stage you're in, you will get an E-Tank. Nine times out of ten, you'll just get an E-Tank, so don't think too much into it. Don't think you're, like, wasting E-Tanks because you used it on a, like, semi-easier boss. Like, trust me, you're gonna have so fucking many by the end of the game. Just fucking use them. Uh, I think this is the way. No, this way is to an E-Tank, I think, actually. Let me double check. This way is to an E-Tank, isn't it? <laughs> yep. See, I told you. You literally just fucking just get it back. So, again, don't, don't stress about it too much. Yeah, you need, uh, need to fly here. You could use just this. Just fly. Take a hit. Fuck it. Don't matter. Now this, this is the section I was thinking about earlier. This section is kind of annoying. There's one section where these enemies get really cluttered, and that's where I start to dislike this section a lot. Oh, I flew right into it. I was trying to just, like, outmaneuver him. Didn't work. Didn't work as the way I intended. Go in here, get this. Easy. Look at that. It's like we didn't die at all. Just take the hit. I can deal with it. I can deal with a hit. I can deal with a few hits, actually. What I don't like is these enemies are literally spawning everywhere right now. Now this next section coming up, I think, is the one where I uh, usually you end up using... I bite the bullet and I use a centaur flash, because it's really annoying otherwise. Damn. There we go. Is it up here? It's soon. Da, da, da. Unless I just... Unless I'm crazy and I already passed it again. Wouldn't be the first time that I fucking just completely did a, a section normally the second time. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the part. I bite the bullet. I just centaur flash. It's coming up. It, it gets really crowded really fast. Actually, best off we just power punch this shit. Yup, it's coming. I can feel it. Oh, I just avoided it that time. That's the section. They usually throw a lot of them fuckers at you, but... We pulled it off. Usually the spawn rate is like from three to five, I think, but we got three. We actually got the lowest amount. That was nice. All right, here's the metal tank boss I mentioned earlier. Uh, he just shoots balls at you. You have to shoot your blizzard at him. Oh, I tried to press pause in time. All right, now we gotta do it legit with a mega buster again. That's not too hard to pull off, but it's nice to have, you know. Again, don't be afraid to use your E-Tanks. I, I didn't want to use it there, but I should have, in hindsight. We're going to have to end up using here, probably. Oh, wow, we might not. Oh. 
Easy. There we go. I don't know why quote-unquote Mr. X gives a fucking mech tool so much power that he gives him his own mech, but, you know. Who am I to judge? Like, you know, Mega Man X, when Vile got one from Sigma, that made sense. But this, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oh, you motherfucker, you flipped right then. Here, that's why I take care of this. Take the hit. Alright, you can get another E-Tank here, by the way. Do we have too many now? Oh no. We almost have just enough to like, reach the max. There's an E-Tank in this level, yeah. Oh shit, we gotta follow. Oh, thank you, Pableta Huga 07. I probably butchered your name, I'm sorry. Don't <laughs> I, I'm not good at names sometimes. I try my best, though. I appreciate the follow regardless. That was very nice. Uh, and then let's get Blizzard back up. Blizzard's kind of looking a little not too hot right now. Oh, uh, we'll have to take the hit here. Let's take two hits. Why not? Fuck it. Two hits. Oh, it was a host? Thank you for a host. I, I just kind of look. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. That was very nice. Oh god. Don't hurt me. Thank you. Come on. There we go. We're out of here. See you around. Ow, fucker. Oh, I'll just let him blow himself up. Eventually they will just blow up, so... There's another one here, right? There's two. Yeah, let's let them blow up. Oh god, he respawned. How many tanks do we have? Oh. We can't even carry any more anyway, so guess what we're gonna do? Easy. Goodbye, bird. Goodbye, bird. Forget what the boss here is. Oh, it's just Mr. X. What am I what am I saying? He's weak to fire blast. Alright, he just swings back and forth like a fucking asshole. That's all he does. Use the E-Tank. You get so many E-Tanks in this game that I, I play even more risky, honestly. <laughs> Boom. My scheme for world domination has fallid, but I still have enough power to destroy you. Of course. Who saw it coming? It wasn't a, it wasn't a guy named Mr. X. Let the final battle begin. It was a uh, it was Dr. Wily in a fucking disguise. Very well disguised, you know. I mean, look at it. it had me fooled. Put on some glasses. Put like a little, like a little mark on his forehead. You know he was prepared. Okay. 
This music's really fucking good, by the way. I, I really love this music. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lotus. Jesus. Yeah, I'd like that health. Wow, 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 Yeah, they are. I, I, I have heard about that. They've been kind of, uh... Oh, okay. Well, that's good, you know. Yeah, there was people that were really going in on that author. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, beginning of the stage, right? Yep, figured. That's fine. Alright, thank god, Sancho's okay. Thank god. Thank you, Lotus. I don't know what I'd do without you. I was very stressed out. Couldn't lose our... Couldn't lose Sencho. 2021's been going okay, you know? Can't, can't lose Sencho. Oh, I ran out. Come on, Joe Mama. Yeah, drop something, Joe Mama. What the fuck, bro? Nice. Oh, I could use that actually. Thank God. I knew. I knew. Mo I knew Sancho. I knew Sancho was thick-skinned. I knew Sancho wasn't depressed. Powerful. That's why she has an entire fucking... That's why she has an entire pirate crew, you know? Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Blizzard. That's so good to hear. Oh, fuck me. There's no way I haven't gotten the checkpoint by now, but... Let's avoid him. See you around. Oh, Joe Mama. Bye, Joe Mama. The boss is... Oh, it's... It's... The... Oh, uh... Some VTuber drama stuff. Not really drama, just some, um... Misunderstanding stuff. So, one of the Hololive members wanted to stream just to discuss what happened and whatnot. Here's giant fucking... I don't even know what kind of dinosaur this is, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not good with dinosaur names. Velociraptor? I don't know. Fuck! But yeah, Velociraptor, man, you just jump on these platforms and you shoot him. He's he's not that hard. Uh, uh, a fun thing that Kieran also did, instead he punched the platforms back at him. Because if you use the power adapter, you can just punch the platforms and do more damage that way. It's really funny. You just punch the platforms right back at the fucking dinosaur. Some good shit. All right, give me this. A jet adapter. Oh, here's the Canadian things again. Oh, fuck me. No. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. All right, let's squeeze on through. Okay. Here's what you do in this section. You jump, you fly with that, and then you... Okay, we missed it. You want to fire blast that wall, but it's got to be very precise timing. I usually like to start dropping like this. 
Just like that. Again, that's another shortcut you can take. Not as hard as the stage one shortcut, but still a shortcut nonetheless. Let's go get that. Uh, what needs it? I'd say fire uh, bl blizzard. Ah, oh, I already grabbed it. Unfortunate. Sometimes that's just how it be. Yeah, these enemies are annoying, by the way. As you can see, they just kind of start attacking you once you hit them once, so... You have to hit them twice to kill them. Who's the boss here? Uh, I think it's the one we have to use the windstorm on, actually. Yeah, fairly certain. And this one's fucking really easy, too. Just do that. Just hit him right in that, and he's dead. Easy peasy. Alright, now this next stage is weird because it's literally just a robot master room. It's, this is the entire. The, oh no, no, I'm sorry. At the end of this section, there's. It, it, but the weird thing about this room is it just ends when the robot master room ends. Like, that's it. It's very weird. Uh... Yeah, Windstorm can have it. The entire last section is just a fucking robot master room. You don't fight like Dr. Wily at the end of it, like in the other games. You just literally beat the room, you go to the next stage. Uh, let's see. There, that's better. There's a lot of uh, pickups here, if you noticed. Which is good, because we need to refill all this shit. You want to drop some health? No. Of course you don't. You fucking weenie. Alright, here it is. This is really weird. This, it, this entire room is just... Boom. Robot Master Room. Uh, I like to get Tomahawk Man out of the way. I think he's this one. No, that's... Eh. It's fine. We can use Windstorm against him. Nice and easy. Now we actually have his weakness. Which goes through this, by the way. It goes through his, like, barrier thing. And boom, he's dead. Alright, I think... He's gotta be this one, then. He's one of these on this side. Is this the one? Yeah, there he is. He gives the most damage overall, so... I like to do when I have a very high health bar. Sometimes you run out of plant barrier, and in those scenarios, just, you know, die. In those scenarios, just die. Okay, we gotta use Mega Buster on him. It's fine. Oh, that's not good. He's jumping way too much. Huh. Yes! Okay, good. 
Okay, good. I just wanted to get that shit out of the way. Again, he's the most annoying boss for me. His pattern's very just... odd, I would say. Alright, Silver Tomahawk. Yamato Man's probably second. Again, weird pattern. I have no choice. Didn't want to use it. Sometimes you have to. Plus, we have so many. It doesn't really matter. Think this is Nightman? No, oh, no, it's Plant Man. You know how to fight Plant Man. Just use your fucking Mega Buster. Come on, friend. Throw your barrier. Ow. Ghost. I got my ghost input again. Easy. Alright. Next one up. Oh, okay. So, once you actually have Yamato Man's weapon, the Yamato Spear, you can just kind of bust right through his uh, shield. Making his boss even easier than it was before. That was really fucking sad. Alright, and Centaur Man. Let's use the Night Crush again. He's gonna teleport. He's gonna say nothing personnel, kid. He's gonna be a fucking wiener. Come on, asshole. Boom, dead. Easy. Alright, next one. Windman, you know how to deal- or whatever the fuck his name was. Windman, I think. You know how to deal with him. Centaur Flash. Wow, he's... He's eating a lot of shit right now. Pfft, that was really fucking sad. Alright. That just leaves one more. And of course, we leave the Canadian for last. The epic battle. The rematch against the Prime Minister. Oh, he's doing, he's doing his spin dash again. Oh, he's just doing the spin dash. Oh, he's only doing the spin dash. God, he's going in this time. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's kind of created his own fucking pattern right now. Alright, he's dead. Alright, that's it. That's the end of the stage. <laughs> it doesn't do like the fucking Mega Man outro music or anything. It just ends the stage. I don't really understand why, but hey, you know what? Who am I to judge? Alright, one more. Uh, equip Jet, because you can fly in this section. Coming up. Oh, uh, never mind. You're supposed to pause at just the right time, but we didn't get that chance. You gotta fight this guy again, of course. They, of course, Wily want to throw, like, one more fucking mini-boss at you. And it's that asshole. Edward! I didn't need that. I didn't need that in the fucking slightest, bro. Alright, you just use the Mega Buster for the first two phases, and the Tomahawk for the last one. Just gotta get his rhythm down. He just kind of tromps back and forth and shoots these things, and that's pretty much this whole first phase. Alright, next phase. 
Very similar to the last one. He doesn't change it up all too much. Oh, we're going to take a hit. Obviously, his body does the most damage, so if you're going to avoid getting hit, that's the place to be avoid getting hit. All right, final phase. Just use Silver Tomahawk whenever he's in the air. Just hope you get a good spawn. Like that. Only can usually pull it off once and then he disappears though, so. Sometimes you just don't get it at all. Damn. Yeah, I was just off. Okay, E-Tank. See how many E-Tanks we have and we're on the final fucking fight of the game? The final phase? Like I told you, you don't have to worry about these E-Tanks. You can use them haphazardly. Nice. Almost done. Boom. There you go. We beat Mega Man 6. Finally, Dr. Wily's getting fucking put in jail. We're done with this guy. He's going He's going to prison. Get out of here, Dr. Wily. Triumphant at last, Mega Man arrested the notorious Dr. Wily and brought him to justice. Sentence his prison for his crimes. Dr. Wily now rules over a prison cell. At long last, the world is at peace. You know, until Mega Man 7, that is. He'll, he'll be back in fucking... He'll be back soon enough. But yeah, that's Mega Man 6. There you go. That's the game. That was really... Sh that, I, that was probably the best run I've done. <laughs> I usually, I did a test run last night, and I took a little over an hour, and maybe a half, so this is pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, what was I going to say? So, my plan for the next one is, I want to do be a little different. I've already done Mega Man 7 and 8, and Mega Man Monday, I had Shatter, and I had uh, Mecha do, you know, seven, Mecha did 7, and Shatter did 8. So... I'm going to keep up the 8-bit trend, and the next time I play Mega Man, I'm going to go to the D-make of Mega Man 7, Rockman 7FC, as it's called. Just to keep up the trend of playing these 8-bit Mega Man games. So we'll do Rockman 7FC, then uh, Rockman 8FC, and then we'll go back to Mega Man 9 and then 10. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do the other versions like the you know the original creation versions of the game but there's something about 8-bit Mega Man I just really love over anything else related to Mega Man so I want to I want to keep that similar tradition alive for now go through those you know eventually though I'll do the I'll do Mega Man 7 the normally because I do like Mega Man 7 and then uh, instead of doing the PlayStation version of Mega Man 8 which Shatter did I'll do the Sega Saturn version of Mega Man 8, which is a little different, actually. Uh, it's a little different quality-wise. It has a few uh, extra secret bosses that we'll go and do. Overall, they're fairly the same game, with some differences. Overall, the Saturn version is considered the superior port, but I don't know. For some reason, Capcom never ports that version in collections, so when I eventually do do regular Mega Man 8. I'll do the Saturn version. But uh, for now, we're just focusing on the NES titles, NES-related titles. So we'll do the fem the D-makes of 7 and 8. 8-bit 8 Mega Man will live on. The good thing is about the D-makes is it doesn't have the formula of it cutting the Robot Master order in half, so you can only do four at a time. You can just do all eight right from the get-go. So I love that. I prefer that more for those games. Although... The, the overall pattern doesn't change too much. It, it changes just enough for me to enjoy it. Plus, it brings back E-Tanks and stuff, which Mega Man 8 doesn't have for some fucking reason. It's just really dumb. Uh, but we'll get to Mega Man 8 when we get to Mega Man 8. That means you get to see me do the jump, jump, slide, slide, but an 8-bit. Which I think is easier, honestly. I think it's easier in the, the D-Make because the camera's a little bigger. 
Uh, but, of course, when we get to the Saturn version, we're not gonna be so fucking lucky. But yeah, that's Mega Man 6. Uh, I don't know, we'll do Mega Man 7 at some point during the week. I'll find time. Potentially during the afternoon on Tuesday. Since Tuesday night, I have other plans stream late at around 12 at midnight. So, technically Wednesday, but, you know, fuck it. It's gonna be a busy week, stream-wise. I have a lot of plans. So, it's gonna be fun. Looking forward to everything. Uh, Thursday will be the birthday stream. That'll be fun. I'm gonna get fucking really drunk and play Mario Party. So, yeah. Uh, Mario Golf, that will be Tuesday. I, I might as well just reveal the plans now. Uh, best case scenario, I'll do Mega Man 7 or Rockman 7 FC during the afternoon on Tuesday. Then that night at midnight, I'll do Mario Golf with the gang. Then Wednesday, going to take a day off. And then Thursday, I'll be back at it with the birthday stream. We're going to do Mario Party 1. And after that, we're going to do... Lotus and I are going to do Fight and Fella Fridays with Rivals of Aether. So, <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be a really fun week. We'll see how the week, the week goes. It's going to be something. But yeah, that's uh, Mega Man 6. Thank for everyone for joining. Uh, it's almost really fucking late, so... I'm gonna head on off and just kind of vibe until I fall asleep. So until then, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great rest of your night, and see you soon.